Hi YouTube, Susan here and uh, yes I'm finally going to put this bird in the air on video. <laughs> um, I've been practicing, it's the SEMA S107 and uh, I really like this helicopter because it, it is very easy to control and when you're starting out that is key <laughs> to less frustration you know so you can focus on learning to fly it and go from there anyway it's all fired up as you can see the lights are starting in the front there and I've got my remote on and it's this is just a short video to show you what I've learned so far it's infrared so the TV's off and it's indoor to avoid any light distraction out there anyway here we go Learn to keep it at a certain level and how to adjust it if I need to. I can back it up, Whoop, down a bit, and go forward, back it up, change directions. This is the most I've kept a helicopter in the air is since I started flying this helicopter. It's kind of cool. Um, I did try another one before and it had such a hairy throttle that it just frustrated me beyond. And of course the flying egg that I got, I ended up giving to Kev because it was way above my skill level at the time. Kill the throttle. <laughs> if there's an accident pending, kill the throttle to minimize problems. And I've learned that. Not to panic when it dies here. It will get back up in the air again. And here we go. here. I'm trying not to get it near the TV because most plates can do some damage to an LCD screen. <laughs> so I stand in front of the TV so I know it's going to be safe. I think if I learn at my own pace with this one, I think I might learn to enjoy flying. As long as I don't get frustrated in the process. Let's see if I can land it. Okay. Yay! Landed! <laughs> Anyway, just a, a quick video to show you, yes, I am learning, and yes, I can put it in the air and do things with it. Thanks for watching, as always, and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them, and I'll do my very best to answer them, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.